here is the Goldie and I'm here at the Arches, which is uh, right now looking like one of the last premier underground clubs. London's got the sound systems on fire. The club is ram. Uh, it's looking really, really good, man. It's a nice, it's a nice vibe in there. I'm very surprised. Next year is going to be a big year for Metalheads, you know. We've all been in a little bit of a transition, you know, because people have kind of got to catch up to what you do to a degree. And they have now, you know, they're tired of certain aspects and they want to move it forward now. So Metalheads is, is, is there's no better base to move things forward than Metalheads, so respect. We're working on a new, uh, new album for them. We're also working on uh, doing our own label at the moment, which is going to be called Beat and Track. Probably it's all going to start appearing in the middle of next year, I should have thought, but we're busy working away on it at the moment. I think, I think the scene's really good. It's diversifying as it always always has. I think it's a great, great music to follow, really. I'm really going back to this, my soulful roots on the label. Um, mixed with a lot of experimental. I love the music at the moment. I just think there's so much variation um, in the sound and stuff. And, I got some. I'm really happy with the tracks I got coming out. So, like 2010 could be our best year yet, which is great after all these years, you know, to be reaching like your peak. Look out for Creative Source in 2010. It's going to be big. understands where Metalheads is coming from, what it stands for, um, and moving it on. And, it, you know, Metalheads has always been futuristic in its, in its attitude, and I think as long as they keep that futuristic feel and keep in touch with the youth of today, they'll be, they'll be fine, you know? The reason Goldie made Metalheads was because he wanted to show respect to the people that turned him on to drum and bass and make a vehicle for these people to move forward. So you've got Pesce, you've got Doc Scott, Dillinger, and they were already kind of established, but when they came to Metalheads, it was like they pushed themselves even more. And I think that's Goldie inspiring you to do that. Even though everybody was telling us this music was no good, this music was this, you know, some people saying Metalheads was the devil sign, all these things, and we just thought, this stuff makes us feel good, so therefore, it must make people feel good. So that's, you know, and I think Goldie is always looking for the next new thing. You know what I mean? And I think that's what keeps Metalheads really fresh. Oh, come on, man. It's that flipping classic, innit? Like, the imprint has just gone on and on. It's got better and better. It's stood the test of time. The quality control on the tunes has always been the same. And it's never slipped. It's never, ever slipped. Goldie's never slipped. Um, Storm's never slipped. Spirit of Kemi lives on forever, man. 
I'm playing, so I'm playing for old school metal set. You know what I mean? Like a little Legendland kind of blue dot set. Yeah, yeah. Two heads vibe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Metal heads kind of stands for kind of like deep, the deeper side of music and they've always represented and kept it real, man. And they're bearing the fruits after 15 years. So it's good. And this is especially like the old school metal heads vibe, man. Quite grimy, dirty, like, hot, like really good music and a really up for it crowd. So, Tonight's big, it's big, big night. I think metalheads can bring a very nice vibe to a place. We're not, there's no aggression. You know, any club where we've had aggression, we've kind of moved away from because it's not a metalheads thing. You're here to have your mind, body and your soul messed about with, hopefully, completely. And I think we're, we're known for that, bringing that vibe. And I think Goldie, as the head of our family, definitely creates that vibe. And plus, he's a showman as well, you know, so. <laughs> That's a bit fucking intense, isn't it? Deep, dark, techy sort of rolling beats and that, basically. It's a cool atmosphere, man. Like, yeah, everyone's up for it. Like, no agginess, no trouble. It's all good. Yeah. Metalhead has always just kept it solid, kept it doing, keeping the music and keeping it real. I just come from the rave. I saw it in the metro. I'm with all my friends, and it's out to have a sick yeah. night. I love what Metalhead is doing, though. It's like fresh and new and it always moves on so wicked so respect to goldie and storm and randall scotty groove rider all of us are in our 40s now we're still going still looking good and still loving the beats <laughs> Metalheads TV and I'm John B.